was that Worski was liking these tweets. No, no! And I was like, what the no, fuck? No, no! No! He was liking these tweets? Oh, man. Let's pull this up. This is from Goblin's stream. I've got timestamps. Oh, no. This, this appears to be very bad. This appears to be very bad. Oh, no. Worski, come on, dude. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> How bad does it get? Okay, hold on. First off, there's a clip before this that they wanted me to show. I got timestamp. I got timestamp. It's the... <laughs> it's the Coker in chief himself. It's PPP. Remember... AF pack is delayed this year. Also, no refund scrapers. Uh, Nick has surrendered his bully pulpit daily AF show in order to go and be a lot of leash for Master Milo. He already seems castrated and lower energy. He, I'll do anything. He'll do anything Milo says in order to rub shoulders with celebs. He'll have no real influence. He's 100% owned. He'll have no real influence. What would make him think that? By the way, they're sticking to that even after. I mean, he clearly does have influence. Are you listening to the things Ye is saying? Like he's literally using Nick's talking points. It's clear he's being briefed by Nick Fuentes. Like it's not even, a, it's not really a question. He's using the same rhetoric. They uh, they do more clipping of America first than it. Well, they don't actually do the clipping because they're lazy fags, but that's how they even eat every month is doing recaps of Nick Fuentes. So, yeah, exactly. Pearson says, no real influence. Yeah, he tweeted out a screen cap from my Telegram post last night, LMFO. Yeah, it's like, yeah, he's tweeting from Ye's Twitter account. Like, this sounds like the most cope of all time. We're gonna enhance that one. We're gonna enhance that one, folks. PPP has surrendered his bully pulpit, Kino Cathedral, in order to go and be on a leash for Master Worski. No. He already seems castrated and lower energy. He'll do everything Andy says in order to no. rub shoulders with celebs like Sam Hyde and Keemstar. No. He will have no real influence. He is 100% owned. <laughs> it's fucking cold, folks. It's cold. And it's... I suppose it is what it is, yeah? It's tough, buddy. Your daily reminder that Milo, Nick Fuentes' boss, is an unreconstructed Zionist. How can you fight Zionists when you work for one? Nick giving this low energy rambling speech where he quits his show to go work for Milo, who just confirmed on the show he'll be signing Nick's paychecks from now on. Seethe! <laughs> Seethe and coke and piss and shit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is absolute unconcentrated text to see there, folks, without any self-awareness of his own thing. And in order to try and bolster his seed and gain validation for his seed, he's doing the appeal to Daddy Jim, the desperate appeal to Daddy Jim. Daddy uh. Jim will save you again. Daddy Jim is on point. Uh, I'm not going to read this because it's an exceptionally cold take. Uh. It's an exceptionally cold take. <laughs> oh, it's an exceptionally cold take from Jim. Oh, even for Jim's recent, you know, sub-zero temperatures for like the last, I don't know, four years. By the way, if you want to see the last time Medicare was funny, subscribe to rockfin.com slash the Ralph Retort. We are going to put up the best of Medicare on the kill stream. The last time he had any real influence, the last time he was any good or made anybody laugh, it was about four or five years ago. All those shows are property of Ethan Ralph. Uh, and so, you know, I want to make sure we have those up for the history books because it was the last time Medicare was funny. So we want to have that up and available for everyone to watch. I own all the rights to it. So, uh, you know, we definitely should make some money off of it again. <laughs> Daddy Jim. Daddy Jim will save you again. Daddy Jim is on point. Uh, I'm not going to read this because it's an exceptionally cold take. 
It's an exceptionally cold take from Jim. <laughs> He's decided to pin this tweet. So, to get it straight, the saviour of the white race is now a black rapper whose <laughs> campaign manager is an open homosexual bilo, keeps blackmail on everyone around him and provides evidence to the... F I don't know why I'm doing a Jim Sterling voice, but <laughs> let's go with it. Triple A! And the comms director is a homosexual latinx. 24-year-old. Ah. Ralph weighs in, and Ralph really does fucking whip. Really does... I there was a point where PPP could stand in a ring with Ralph and, and nine times out of ten win out. There was that point at, at some point in time. Um, alas, alas, because... Um, That's not true, but... On something like this... I'll accept it because he's going to say PPP get down there, dear. Where are we? So Ralph says, your daily reminder that you weigh 800 pounds and co-host a show with a baby-killing coke fiend. Absolutely fucking bodied. Straight up bodied. Laminated. Completely fucked. Um, and also, where's the lie? Where's the lie from Ethan Ruff? Um, <clears throat> seethe incoming, folks. Nice rebuttal, buddy. Keep worshipping your Zionist master Milo. Let's not forget your morbidly obese alcoholic with a coke problem that eats shit on camera. Laugh my ass off. <sighs> Oof, that was bad. <laughs> Oof. That was People bad. want me to enhance this and pick apart the cope and see. That was pretty bad, yeah. Nick could be elected president and Worski and PPP would still cope about it on Twitter instead of just taking their L. That's very true as well. But yeah, you can just listen to it. It's just completely... It sounds like that, reading it. like. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll give you what you want. Let me just get the music back, and we'll give you exactly what you want. All right, we're about to skip this other part. Hold on. Nice rebuttal, buddy. Keep worshipping your Zionist master, Milo. PPP's Zionist master is Keemstar and Shackles in YouTube. Oh. That's who's paying PPP's bills. Let's oh, Keemstar. Oof. All right, now let me see this next thing. Hold on, we can, we can watch more of that, but I want to see Worski get outed. Oh, man, I heard this was bad. I heard this was really bad. I think a lot of people here haven't seen this. I want to make sure a Borski... The guy who kills children, keep in mind. Keep in mind that Andy Worski, Andy Perez is his real name. Mississauga, whatever the fuck. Some bullshit. Next to Toronto. He kills children. Andy Worski kills children. Do you understand? He kills kids. You hear that baby in there? Well, he would hear one too. He probably definitely hears one when he tries to go to sleep at night and it haunts him. Keeps him from slipping off into the great unknown. He needs to go ahead and slip off fully, if you know what I mean. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I heard this is devastating. Together, stop the tears from flowing and put on a show where they covered this. Mississauga's a dump. That's what Beef Stew said. Well, I mean, it appears to be a dump from what I've seen. I mean, if Worski lives, there's a dump. Let's be honest. This fucking waste man. That's what they call him in the UK. Complete waste man. Living on the fucking couch. Just absolute subhuman status. Thinking he's somebody never does anything worth a shit. I'm traveling the globe. Got a family. Worski has absolutely nothing. Anonymous sent three dollars. Ralph, I am in a log, but I am always fair. PPP lost. Trunsky lost. Godwinson won. I appreciate Gunt that. won. Nick won. Nothing but total victory. <laughs> I'm guarding the gun for the holidays. You know what? I'll accept. Stay base king. Thank you. I'll accept a Christmas truce with you, sir. That's very nice. Gun guarding for the holidays. You know that. Uh, maybe we can make that. A, they tried to make. Uh, they failed pretty hard. As far as upholding. 
No Ralph November, but uh, maybe we can do a gun guarding Christmas. Maybe we can. Uh, <laughs> maybe we can make that a tradition. I don't know. Worski is making lusting after tranny cock a tradition. Unfortunately, for him, I mean, it's fortunate for us because. We get to do shows about it. We get to promote the Sixth Hour Transformer Fund. If we hit the Transformer Fund, it transforms. That's why it says that into the all-day Super Show Fund, and we'll go until about, mm, I don't know, 11.30 or 12, something like that. I may take like a 10-minute intermission at some point. I see some of the other people doing that, the stream all day. I may, I may do that just to break it up a little bit. Play some uh, yay there or something at some point. Uh, but if we hit that, we'll go all the way through till about 11.30 or midnight, thereabouts. Let's continue here, though. Because any coverage would just mean that they've completely lost. But there is a reason why they didn't stream last night. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you know, we were talking about this. And I couldn't understand why they didn't do some kind of stream. Because, look, even though it's been Epic W after Epic W... There's a certain segment of retard out there who will just eat up any f old fake news thing about me or Nick possible. And so this is one of the, the biggest story that's happened, <laughs> period. They could have easily went on air and just soaked up some of the hate shekels, the hater shekels, but they didn't. It was just like, what? Why? Like, what do you mean? How did you fire up a stream? It's not even Thanksgiving in Canada. They have their Thanksgiving on a whole different day. Like, it's literally nothing up there. It's like, dude, why didn't you fucking go live? Is it really that bad, Sigismund? I, it's very bad, is what I heard. And I only saw enough to know we're going to focus on this today. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just... I just wet my whistle, which is what Worski's trying to do. I wet it, I wet it mer metaphorically, though. In this, with the story, with the with the gist of the story, not with the tranny cock. You see what I'm saying? Do you understand? Okay. I just want to be clear. Worski's trying to, uh, you know, wet his whistle with, with the tranny cock and uh, mouth of the tranny, etc. I know. It goes deeper. It goes fucking deeper, folks. I need to move this over here. Oh God, this is bad, isn't it? Oh man, I hear it's got a, oh it's got a ton of views. Worski, just fucking kill yourself, dude. This is pretty. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I knew. I knew. Listen to what I'm saying, by the way. I know you're probably watching right now. I called it. I said you would be the one to fold. You would be the one to break. You would be the weak link because you're always the weak link. Because you're a pussy bitch and a liar and a snake. And a phony. You're not what you show people at all. Chunsky oh. sent five dollars candy board babies if you're sticking it in a dude's ass. Devilish face. Oh, look at look at Godwinson just disgusted at the story. Look at his core. He's actually disgusted. I mean, he has the the flair of a great storyteller. You know, I can see the spirit of the bar in him, but he's troubled. By what's on his conscience having to deal with this absolute sicko, Andy Worski. He's that sick, that depraved. Kills babies. Fat Tranny Cox sent $10 previously unreleased audio Ugh. of Worski at the abortion clinic. Stay the oh, fuck come on. back! Stay back! We will defend ourselves! We will defend ourselves! We will defend ourselves! Stay the fuck back! That's when they're trying Stay to the remove him from there. Back! Stay the fuck back! We will Thank you. Cause at this point I feel it apt to bring out the best co-host in this sector. The man who really infuses the content with greatness, soul. <laughs> The potential that really shouldn't have been smothered in the fucking cradle. That co-host, the greatest of them all, Lil Andy. Oh, Lil Andy true. Jr. murdered. 
by his own father. Never forget that, folks. Murdered by his own father. Reason. Reason why? Why, why was little Andy? Just funsies. He didn't, you know. I don't want to kill. Just kill it. Just kill it. By the way, how fucked up? How fucked up can you be? His family's got money, too. You know what I mean? Like, I guess he was worried, and I didn't think about this until now. God would say he was probably worried this kid was going to eat up too much of the chow around Casa de Perez there. He was probably worried he might have to share that fucking couch. This guy is such an absolute just bottom, ugh, subterranean scumbag. Killed, smothered in the fucking cradle. There's a reason why Walski murdered his own son. And I don't really know where to fucking go with this, apart from just showing you all of it in order. How I found it, and you're going to understand exactly why Andy Worski murdered his child so he could fuck trannies, or certainly become very best, great friends with trannies, and get them to donate to his show. That's the reason why Lil Andy Jr. died. Okay, so this this is a tranny that. Andy Worski follows on Twitter. And not only does he follow it, he's best friends with it. And I am 100% convinced that I have found the identity of Medica Masochist. It's real. There's only one reason why Medica Masochist keeps giving Andy Worski hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Oh, no. It's because it's a mentally ill tranny that has a bizarre association with Andy Worski going back years and years and years and years and years. I'm ready. Let's go. So this... This person here calls itself Rena Jerje, and it's Metica Masochist. It's a tranny. It's a tranny. And it's followed Worski for years and years and years. We're getting into more of this. My almonds are activated. Mine too. My almonds are definitely activated. Um... Holy! Of this is true. Sounds just like my God. Let's go. Uh, no, we go there. We see that, but we also ah! see the tranny. No, my life history and family photos. Fuck! I was wondering where it's been weird. Oh no! I'm sorry to hear. I'm more hyped. They've been stealing people's info without consequences. So this isn't just a, a guy he's randomly followed. It's not just a guy that... We're painting the case here because there's fucking loads of this shit. It's not just a guy that he's followed and not had any contact with. There's yet more, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. That death makes sense, bro. But so does all the platforms, I'm sure. And look, as you can see, there's a great, a, a great discussion they've been having. And this is over years and years and years. Let's read this one from Metica Masochist. Masochist. Love your stuff, by the way. Medicare mask is a tranny. Perfect metaphor, metaphor for Jim's bases. Well, not metaphor, just example, I guess. Better. Thank you. You enjoying the YouTube so coated stuff? The next step is going to be massive. Nice. <laughs> uh, he's been on and off, but that's always good to hear. The rabbit hole we're about to dive into is completely fucked, okay? The tranny, Andy, Warpath Worski, out here simping. So the tranny's calling it out for simping. Calling him out for simping. And here he is, liking the tranny's tweets. This picture, by the way, I'm going to show you what that picture was. You're going to think, why has Andy Worski liked this? Is he just a complete... It, it, it mask is off. Why is, and what I've done is I've decided to, I've edited Worski's face onto this, purely in the interests of censorship and, and keeping it a family-friendly show, okay? This is what Worski, this is what Worski liked. Now, bear in mind, Worski's face wasn't on these, wasn't on this tweet. Worski's face is a, is a, is a Goblinson original edit, purely because I, I just thought it was the best way to show you this, <laughs> because it's so fucked up. But as you can see, the tranny... No! 
Anonymous sent $5, we gave them too much credit saying Medicare masochist was Andy's dad Lamau. No! Andy, no! Ah! Oh, no. Worse, he's gay as they come. You know, we talked about this already. Remember when we had Alex on the show and he talked about how Worski tried to suck his dick? Remember all the gay shit he talks about constantly fucking people in the ass? Remember I said he was going to bend Salt Poppy over? Like in a really gay way, he said it too. That's what Worski liked. Now, obviously, Worski's face is covering up yeah. a throbbing, veiny schlong. Yeah. I have a body and a dress and also a dick, XD. I really hope I'm not catching anyone off guard here. But while you're mesmerized, Andy Worski, uh... Bagger sent $3. It's over. Oh, man. Let me take advantage of you. Come down in front of me. Smug says... Hold on. Davidson, $3. What da? It yep. all makes sense now. He's one of those late gay bloomers. Yeah. Well, we don't know if it's late or not. Smug says, even in the Rockfin vids, he's always talking gay shit. Oh, Smug say, Smug's got the uh, paid subscription on Rockfin. There's a lot of uh, classics. I'm going to put some more up this week. Sorry. I've been trying to get back to that a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, I got several <laughs> several old episodes with him in it. Yeah, he's fucking gay. I don't know. He's always talking some fag shit. Medica masochist exposed, ladies and gentlemen. But there is yet more. There is yet a great fucking treasure trove of this shit. Because the tranny had an OnlyFans that Worski was paying towards. I used to run an OnlyFans, but I lost motivation for it. Go ahead. Kanye West sent three dollars link. All right, I'll pull it up. I'm no. This is the reason why Andy Worski died, by the way. The the child. Andy Jr. Well, I had to be smothered into the cradle. I'm no longer poor as I used to be. No longer poor as it used to be. It's got a lot of expendable income now for which to donate to the Kino Casino and pretend to be metamasochist. It's got a hospital job, which it's happy about. Hence why I wanted to suggest temp changes for ske whatever the fuck this is. But it used to have an OnlyFans. It doesn't, it doesn't need an OnlyFans now. This association, we're going through the years here, 20, 20, 2019. Andy, you the hottest scruffy. Love heart. Did you see Andy in the airport videos? Absolute heartthrob. Worski follows this, by the way, and likes it and interacts with all of the tweets, okay? This one, early 2019 now, uh -oh. talking about when he was uh, feuding with Ian Miles Chon, the tranny's like, Medica Masochist says, oh God, Andy, I'm so sorry. You look like you're fighting tears. Stay strong, hope things go all right. We all love you, buddy. No. We all love you, buddy. By we? Is it the tranny community or something? I mean, it, it, it fucking continues, folks. This is a, a wild ride. We're not going to get into the videos just yet. Andy Worski, unblock moderator Marcy. I don't interact with too much with this circle anymore since like 2012. Oh, aside, when he had Qbot block a bunch of people by accident and unblocked me after a bit. I really haven't been in this whole circle for years, since the Tonka fight. I was super painful. Implosion of Ralph, super depressing. But the narrative that, that we can see there is that Andy unblocked it and then refollowed it. And then carried on this this friendship where it was like absolutely hand in hand. 
associating with. So, Worski follows this tranny right now, and here's the, here's the tranny crying about when it was unfollowed by Andy. Instead, oh. Worski followed it back, got it to call itself Metical Masochist and donate to the Kino Casino. It's over, Casino Sisters, is it not? Now, you might say, oh, Worski's retarded. He didn't know it was trans. He didn't know it was a tranny. We've got a lot of stuff on this tranny, by the way. Um, I'm trans, this is, I'm trans, but don't get this joke. So this is as of 2020. Worski goes, it's a women's stay in the kitchen joke. Wait a minute. Hey, Andy, haven't been in that corner of the internet for a while, lol. How have you been? Amazing. My new <laughs> show is killing it with over 1,000 watching. <laughs> Everything going well? How about you? Um, take note of the timestamp here. My new show is killing it with over 1K watching. It's the cycle of Worski. I mean, he's not talking about the Kino Casino here, by the way. He's literally talking about, like, I don't know, was this subcultured or some shit? Um, he continues, this, this tweet's unavailable. But he continues, oh, it was subcultured. It's a dope comedy show every night. <sighs> I've been really trash. Really good. I'm on Ohio now. It was like two drug addicts I let do a fucking show after. Like, not good. Not drug addicts in a good way either, you know. Some people it might enhance. They would like fucking get on the dope fiend lean and just like pass out during their show and just like fall out of sleep. Just be the most boring fucking just wrote by the numbers bullshit. Though, so that's different. But I work at a hospital preventing COVID. They were so terrible. It was cool terrible. It was terrible. Hell, you know? They clearly have been in contact privately as well, where they seem to be updating each other on their personal lives. Worski says, I do not and never took medication. This is a man who gives zero shits. This is 2018, by the way. This goes back, Metica Masochist, this tranny, and Worski, their association goes back years and fucking years. Andy, your actual trans fans who pay attention understand you're not giving any fucks, especially now. These people have to find you with pedophilia, attempted to steal revenue by ruining your show, ruining the contract, ruining your relationship. It's okay, Andy. You're going through really hard times right now. And I'm amazed you are still going and keeping things somewhat as positive as you can. But like not taking shit wow. from anyone anymore, love hard. Oh. We know you got this, man. Wait, do we have, hold on, let me, I think we need a theme. Do, do we need a theme for this? That's what I'm gonna play. <laughs> I'm gonna show you who this tranny is, okay? Um, okay, I'm just lighting up some music because the image I'm seeing here is something that I know Andy Worski has whacked off to. Something that I know Worski aborted his own son to whack off to. So we are going to line up some... <sighs> Once this advert finishes, <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll just sync you with the the full reveal of Metica Masochist, Let's the tranny it! that's been giving the Kino Casino oh, no. all of its wages from this no. hospital job, that's been followed by Andy Worski and is still currently followed by Andy Worski. It's been Got having this friendship with Andy Worski where they swap over details of their personal Got life him. and Worski no. likes its degenerate posts and whacks off to images like oh. this. Oh. Metica Masochist. Lenny 
Astro, what the fuck? Do you want to see it wearing oh a Star God, Trek no. outfit, folks? Do you oh. want to see it wearing a Star Trek uniform? What the fuck? Now, we've had to uh, put Wolski's oh face my here God. because obviously it was a dangling cock and balls. Worski, the only reason I was able to find all of this shit, by the way, was that Worski was liking these tweets. No, no! And I was like, what the no, fuck? Worski, no! No! He was liking these tweets? What? The fuck? Oh my god. What is going on? Oh my god. Down low motherfucker. What is going on? Oh fuck. Yeah, because obviously it was a dangling cock and balls. No. 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 The only reason I was able to find all of this shit, by the way, was that Worski was liking these tweets. And I was like, what the fuck's going on? They've not done a show tonight, and instead Worski's liking this shit. Davidson three dollars. Worski know it's so over. What the f- no! <laughs> A true Ralph Amali sent three dollars. Is this the sunrise or worse world? Oh my god, what is going on? Shout out to Where's World Road. Give your head a fucking shake there, buddy. <laughs> Give your head a fucking shake. Um, but that's the identity of Mexico. Jacuzzi sent three dollars. Those damn horny hackers cuck -cu can't keep getting away with this. Oh, man. Rich Delicious Irony sent three dollars. This tranny is still somehow the most well-adjusted Kino Casino pay pig. Oh. Masochist. Uh, pass. I don't know. Worski sent three dollars. I, 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 I was hacked. <laughs> Okay, um, and if you doubt that Worski's all about the fucking trapno state, well, I've got a leak from way back when, when all of this was being paraded in front of us. Worski using, uh, you know, he's talking, he's sending a super chat, talking into the phone, obviously. Damn, those things are so accurate these days. It was hidden in plain sight. In fact, it was barely even hidden. Because you remember this one? To the people who think Sargon can <laughs> sue... Because I applied for the trademark liberalist. You wow. do know the term has been used since the 1800s. I'm just the first to apply for the trademark. The principles will all be applied to make the best trap no state. You're welcome all. That's the great evil of Andy fucking Worski, isn't it? Murdered his own son so he could whack off to trannies. But don't just take my word for it, right? Don't just oh. take my word for it, because we're going to look minimal. now at Andy in his own words. Andy Worski, this is your life. This is Andy Worski in his own fucking words. And this is content that comes from the own my own personal archive. This is content that comes right from the Godwinson vault no. of all of the stuff that got deleted, right? Oh. But we were saving it for a rainy day, Andy. We were saving it for a rainy, rainy, rainy day. Oh, and winter good. has come. We but were saving it for a all rainy day. Friend, it's Andy Worski. Let's let's hear his words, shall we? Worski, no. the pole smoker. What? I know a girl who's had seven abortions. Seven abortions. You would think at like five, you'd be like, "Hey, honey, you wanna? I don't know." <laughs> Stop fucking having abortions. Maybe uh, maybe we do that. Who knows? That's, That's a bit rich. Coming from Mr. Andy Worski. Wow. A little dip into the vault. A little dip into the royal treasure. We know Gowanton's got some aristocratic ties. Uh, a little access into the Baron's select stash. A man who forced his pregnant girlfriend with a shotgun to her temple, a bag over her head. He drove her to the abortion clinic. He dragged her into the office. A little dipping. He threw money at the doctor to Perfect perform freeze the abortion. Frame. I'm the king of freeze frame. And he got it. He got it. That's it. And on the way out, he kicked her down the stairs to oh. ensure that the job had been finally Jeez, finished. Louise. 
And instead of giving her a lift back, he just left her in the street to cry. <laughs> That's the story of how Andy Warski murdered his own fucking son. Yeah. Try that? I bet the semen in his balls is like rock, paper, Oh, ro who picks rock? All right, guys, well, uh, hopefully she keeps me. I wonder if she goes to the same place to have her abortions. Or does she shop around for prices? Holiday special on abortions. Save 50% on any abortion that you want and any method of choice. I wonder if she does head to the same place because if she does, it's not like really like an abortion clinic anymore, you know? It's more like a Waffle House. Like, hey, honey, how you doing? You want the usual? Scrambled fetus and OJ? Scrambled fetus. <laughs> This is scorched earth on this piece of shit. There's going to be no half measures tonight. Because we've held back a lot of this shit. But tonight, I really am going to burn it down. Fuck oh, shit. That was disgusting. I apologize. And if she does go to the same place, I really hope they have one of those, like, stamp cards. You know, those stamp cards? It's like... The 10th abortion is free. Like, come on, honey, we need two more abortions. I'll get the 10th one for free. Let's do it. We're inside <laughs> his mind here. You see? You see? We're inside the mind of Andy Worski. The, uh, <laughs> the twisted mind, you might say. You might say that. Of Andy Worski. Look at him. Look at him there. It was all here for us. Laid out, hiding in plain sight. The trannies. The abortions. It was all waiting That's for us to unpack. We need the 10th stamp card. I wonder how the stamp card would look. It'd be like, every like stamp is like, you know, a fetus, and then they have to punch a hole in it. It's like aborting a stamp card. I wonder how the inside of a uterus looks like, you know? I bet you there's like carvings on the wall like watch out for the man in the white coat and like blueprints and escape plans and like takes on how many days they've been in there that must be a pretty creepy feed uterus how did i fail how did i fail it's like a horror movie the uterus where fetuses come to die i hope in the future like a fetus ends up escaping before she has the abortion, right? And she's like, she's still with the umbilical cord, and she's like, stop having abortions, keep me, okay? I'm gonna be a fucking lawyer or a doctor, I promise you that, but just keep me. Stop abortioning. Stop abortioning. Is abortioning even a verb? If not... I now call copyright on the word abortioning. Um, yo, we're gonna have a fun-filled weekend, man. We're gonna be drinking beers, abortioning, and longboarding, and we're gonna, like, skydive. Whoa, what was the second one? Abortioning. All the cool kids are doing it. And I would like to apologize for not posting a video. I'm sorry for, you know, I got, like, three hate emails, like, yo, you are now... Arrogant. You are officially arrogant in my books. Events that have happened are happening now, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so that you just heard his thoughts there on abortions, right? And a lot of that was sort of him. Tiago Alex sent three dollars. God Winston has an inner Ralph and Molly in him. A little bit of Ralph and Mel. A little bit of Ralph and Mel. Imagining what it would be like to abort a child. But now he's got true experience of all of those things that he hypothesized in that video. He's got true first-hand experience of all of that because he murdered his own son. Um, he needs, uh, he literally, like. We fast forward, by the way, funny. to the current year. Uh, where he's aged like milk because of all of the coke and oh. trannies and whacking off to anything. And we see 
the current incarnation of the eldritch entity known as Anal Vape. It passed through vessels known as Geek Thulu and Kyla and even JF. And now it passes through a vessel known as PPP. All right, but watching him cry constantly and go, Abarski and Aston, his nickname for you is Aston. Okay, great three fucking Anal Vape, only certain people will get that reference. Abarski, uh, okay, so... The insult is ass ton, as in ass weighs a ton. Yes. That, that is quite creative, I can't lie. <laughs> Are you talking about, like, oh, my, oh, my fucking abortion or whatever? Okay. At least I had the decency as a fucking dr- drug addict with my girl... As a drug addict friend for me and her to agree and go we would be horrible parents let's end this fucking baby's life fuck it is that really how you make a decision to murder another person especially an unborn baby let's play that again let's uh, this is how they came to that fucking conclusion and go we would be horrible parents let's end this fucking baby's life fuck it let's end this fucking baby's life fuck it That's fucked. That's fucked, bro. And you know what's also fucked? My good friend, PPP. With a big smile on his face as he hears that. Big, big beaming grin on his face, like the caterpillar from Bug's Life. Take it out. I don't even care about abortion. Take it out. Take out my own son. I think that the people who abort babies are probably the people that you want to abort babies. Because it's less people at, at, who, who don't go at a, on, on a green light. It's the people at the bank who, when the person's like, yeah, next, please, they're on their phone and they're not moving, and it creates longer lines. It's the people who hold you up at the ATM. It's the people who sell crack to your child are the people who are being aborted. You should be... Look, look at this. The face of a fucking murderer, ladies and gentlemen. This literal rage here as he reenacts the kill. Is evil. Pure evil. Dude, it really is. But you know evil. who's uh, who's having a real good time? Who's having a real good time? Demon. The caterpillar from Bug's Life. Oh, wow. That's fucked. Oh, look That's at him. super He's fucked. He's loving it. What the well, fuck? Obviously, <laughs> Wolski Jr. wasn't consigned to a life of selling meth. That child had a lot of potential. And had the child have been born and they genuinely did think that they were going to be terrible <laughs> the parents, caterpillar from then, I don't know, offer it for adoption to a loving family. There are plenty of people out there who can't have children. That I'm sure would have raised little Andy Jr. right. Be happy that people are being aborted. What, what, what you think it's like a, a- Anonymous sent three dollars. Josh Moon wants to be Nick's friend now. Doesn't understand why Nick doesn't like him or Kiwi Farms. Link. <laughs> an amazing- Did you hear that? You it's like a, 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 an Did you hear what he just said? Parental unit was like With s- aborted. You should be happy that people are being aborted. What, what, what you, think? you should be happy that people are being aborted. It's like a, a, an amazing family parental unit who's like, let's abort our baby. No, they want to have the baby. The people who have abortions are the people who are like, like, oh, fuck this baby. Holy crap, I wasn't ready. It was both of our decisions. But at least we had the decency of like Ralph who brought a baby into the world. Unlike, so... Do you see how they justify their own life choices? They justify their own life choices in measurement to Ethan Ralph. That's kind of fucked, is it not? I don't wake up in the morning, abort a child, and go, well, I, uh, you know, I, I did this. <laughs> Smug sent $10. It's uncanny. You can't get out there now! I hate performing on an empty stomach. Oh! A bee. I am a cute little bumblebee. Here I come. Slow down, you flowers! Oh, 
candy corn. Here, let me help you to finish it. It says leave them alone. They have poo poo and fried paper. That does sound like. Wow. We got the water. You know, mean bugs. You're sort of like minister. Fired by a flea. I'm oh, humiliated. <laughs> I'll be a beautiful butterfly. And then everything will be better. But I can't believe the truth is. To the audience, we'll never have. I'll uh, get up and fight like a girl. Ready to do the Robin Hood act. Oh, I want to be Little John. What part can... <laughs> Because Ralph had a kid. That's a deranged way of thinking. Yeah, that is. Let's hear that again. Abort a child. I don't wake up in the morning, abort a child, and go, well, I, you know, I did this because Ralph <laughs> had a kid. That's a deranged way of thinking. And I'm not, like, the greatest expert on Ralph these days. But from what I can see, he's just taken his family to a Havana penthouse and they've had a really good holiday. I don't think Ralph's been a real terrible dad. In fact, I think that bitch who's got his child in California, she's an awful mum. And bizarrely, that child would be better off with Ethan Ralph. But there's hope for that child and for both of those children. Do you know why there's hope? And there's a future? Because they weren't murdered in the fucking cradle, Andy Worski. <sighs> These have a long life to live where they can redeem themselves and they can do great things in their life. They have potential because they were born into this world and weren't murdered by their own father. Ethan Ross goes, get a grip. <laughs> and abandon it. And then let, and now it's not taking care of it and is hiding underground in a fucking bomb shelter from a baby, his own baby. Oh, all right. Andy Jr. pros, no. Andy Jr. is at least in fucking heaven. Fucking, fucking rolling around in clouds and shit. Like I said earlier, if you know, you know. Uh, Andy Jr. I'll withhold uh, commentary on that. Uh, but uh, I am enjoying this, uh, this clip session here a lot. Is it at least in fucking heaven? Fucking rolling around in clouds or some shit. That's the justification for why Worski murdered the son so he could whack off to traps. But it's okay, because Andy Jr.'s in heaven and rolling around in clouds or some shit. Worski's just said there, it's better for the baby to be dead and roll around in clouds than it is to have a life where it can change its mind, where it can see more of the world and live a lifestyle that's more appropriate than selling meth. I mean, that's how Andy <laughs> Worski genuinely was thinking when he murdered his own son that he would constantly be this drug-addled moron and wouldn't step up when the child was born <laughs> did or he wouldn't just, have the decency. Did he just couldn't even... He couldn't even imagine a scenario where he wasn't just, like, a complete, you know, drag. I mean, I always wanted to have kids, and yeah, you know, there are certain... Uh, there can be certain struggles, let's just put it that way, um, unfortunately. Um, in one way or the other, but, uh, the idea that you just, what, I mean, first off, you're going to kill one and then, and then the way he justified it and reveled in it, it wasn't even like, oh, this is some regretful thing that I did. You know, um, it was something that I'm, I'm you know, I feel terrible about, you know, I have trouble with it every day. He's on air just laughing about it and trying to turn it into a comedy skit. Nigga, you're evil. Fuck you. See, to hand it over to some people for adoption who could raise the child with the correct parenting that it deserved. He just, he's got a family. Man, they would have fucking... That kid would have been fine. They would have fucking took care of Worski and that kid. He's a fucking just absolute scumbag evil fuck. Let's just be real. He's an evil fucking motherfucker. I thought he was going to be Andy Worski forever. And, you know, he hasn't changed, has he? He still is the Andy Worski that murdered his, uh, murdered his son. There's no repentance or contrition here. But your fucking baby's abandoned, and now your other baby's abandoned. I mean, it's so rich that he talks about children being abandoned when this man literally murdered a fucking child. Do you think I care about fucking all? Oh, oh no! I will say this. Going through. I will. I will say this. He says, fighting back the glee and the joy and the laughter. I will say this. After Worski is gone, just completely unhinged. 
He's red in the face. He's been screaming. Fucking end the child's life. But I will just say this. What should we hear? What I, I will just say. IP2 clips, even though I'm against abortion, is probably the ultimate argument for abortion. <laughs> you know, but I, I hate think, to say it. I, I hate to say it. Have abortions as a. What's up, Cozer? Some of what Andy is saying, you know, but it's pretty fucking joke. This is like Andy's on on him. I, I disavow some of what Andy's saying, but the murder of his own son is pretty fucking jokes. That's fucked. That's fucked. That's truly fucked. I, look, I don't think you should have abortions as a mean means of uh, your contraception, you know, all that bullshit. And all that bullshit. All that bullshit. Yeah. I don't think you should have abortions as a means of contraception. <laughs> For people who doubt how much of a retard Andy Worski is, just let that one sink in, ladies and gentlemen. I believe it is killing a baby. I'm not going... Well, it's just a bundle. I know what it is. I know. I understand what it is. He knows what he's done. But he knows it's killing a baby. It's not just pixels on a screen. He knows. He knows the the, the uh, magnitude of his actions. But he's unapologetic. I here's my opinion. I don't give a fuck. We all roll versus the way thing. I'm like, everyone's like, we're stupid. I don't care. I don't care about other people's babies. I don't. Do you know? Do you know why Worski don't give a fuck about the murder of his own son? Because he's got his bread and circuses. Because he's got his medica masochist um, oh. facilitating him. Making him uh, feel pleasure and joy. He's got this to <laughs> whack off to every time it tweets. He's got... Uh, he's got this. Oh, God. That's why he's murdered his own fucking son. He's also got... <laughs> In fact, oh. we'll play this, shall we? Come on. We'll just play the rest of it, and then we'll go. I don't care we'll who dies. I don't care who lives. I care about doing the show with Ashton, boxing, playing video games, watching yes. movies. Boxing, playing. By the way, he didn't care too much about that. Think about what he said there. It, yeah, it sounded like he cared a lot. Yeah, so much care. Boxing, movies, playing video games. This is what he cares about in life. Like, what? The fuck? Boxing, video games. That's why Andy. That's why little Andy had to die. What? That's why little Andy had to die. Oh, hanging out with the boys and having some beers. Oh, some some black well for the women in Chicago had an abortion. I'm like, I hope they have a party for it. I don't care. This is Kino. This is some Kino shit. I wonder. This is Kino. Kino this shit. is some Kino shit, the murder of a child. What Andy Jr. would think of this unhinged rant. Andy and Jr. And they're like, Andy oh, well, you like, killed your son. Maybe it was a fucking, maybe it would have ended up being a retarded baby. You don't know that. If I, right. when I was at my cocaine phase, when my ex had a fucking, look, it, it was revealed by Geek Thulu, that fucking piece of shit. You revealed this. Everyone by the way, Elon is going to war with Apple. We're going to talk about that some too in a minute. I'm getting tired of watching this fight. Not Gallinson, but uh, Warski. I'm just getting tired of the sound of his voice. We'll probably go back to some of those too. But Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.